How's it going, everybody? I'm your coach, trainer, caller, coach of the ILL San Francisco Swampers, and this week is week six of the ILL. And uh, this week we're facing off against WMR, the coach of the Miami and Farleaps, and this is going to be an interesting match, mainly because me and WMR are really good rivals, good friends, so you know this is going to be intense. Now, I have to warn you guys, this is going to be the first part of the match, and I'm going to transition over to our uh, the rest of the match, because, see, WMR had uh, something going on, and so we had to stop midpoint in the match, and then we had to continue. So, this is the first part of the match right here. You see that I'm packing Sableye, uh, Charizard S, Electivire, uh, Primeape, Registeel, and Samurax. Uh, going up against his team, of course, he's got Slowking, Nigo King, Skunk Kink, uh, Thunderous, Normal Form, or Incarnate Form, and uh, Vileplume, and Kyranitar. So, I figured that his uh, Kyranitar would be like a defensive set to set up Stealth Rocks. Um, Slowking to be defensive as well. I'm not sure about Nigo King. Uh, most of them are Scarfed. Sometimes they go Life Orb. That's going to come to bite me in the, this match. So, that would be interesting. I haven't really fought uh, Skunk Tank all that often or too often there, but um, I know they can get poison and dark coverage and uh, all that good stuff there. Thunderous Incarnate likes to spread status around to paralyze a few things or set up nasty plot. And of course, Vileplume would be there to put things to sleep there. So we're going to get started here. I'm going to play with music off. Uh, so I'm going to start out with Primeape, and he's going to start out with Nigo King. I go for u turn I don't have anything to hit Nigo King with, or Nigo King rather, uh, to hit anything with. And so I go against Samurai, he does set up Stealth Ox, so this Nigo King is a defensive set. And, uh, that's cool, you know. And then I go with a, uh, Source Dance, expecting him to switch out and going to Vileplume. Unfortunately, he missed that Sleep Powder. Um, which, that really sucks because I would be asleep and, uh, Vileplume would be an issue. But, it takes two plus two, uh, Mega Horns to finish off Vileplume there. He goes for Substitute as I switch out and go into Electivire on his, uh, Nasty Plot Sub, uh, Thunderous. And so, here I get to reveal that I'm Scarfed. And that's great. Uh, he went for the attacking move, most likely, because he would have outspent me with his prankster ability. But I freeze him! And this is where we, uh, stop. So we're going to continue on, where I kick out, uh, Vileplum and Thunderous. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the, uh, other half of this battle, because the rest of it is going to be intense, so. Alright, let's do it. All right, you guys, so we're back. Uh, if you saw what happened there, uh, we're going to continue on. We're actually going to start out from the beginning, but you all know that I go for U-turn on the Nigo King, and then we're going to go back into Electrifier. Uh, he goes to Stealth Rock. We all know this, yeah, and then um, he goes into Thunderous because that's what happened. I go with Ice Punch. He got frozen, but, you know, the mechanics change every time you battle, so he has to go with a nasty plot because I would definitely uh, kick him out, as we saw. And now we're back into where we were. So he goes into Soul King after that. I'm going to switch out because I am locked in on Ice Punch. Going to Sableye, I don't get burned, which is fantastic. On this team, um, I... I have Electivire, but that's pretty much it against uh, Slowking, and Slowking is really bulky as heck. So I'm trying to uh, 
recover, stall, and see what he's going to do. Uh, it's probably not the best move to go for. But that's what I'm going to do. Go with the Shadow Ball to put some damage. I'm trying to force him out uh, because most likely uh, Top Hat, the Slow King, will get the Regenerator boost upon switching out. He does just for that. And uh, Slow King, uh, I'm sorry, Leo King, wow, um, c comes in. And he gets to lock himself into Earth Power. At the time, I was like, okay, he's probably scarfed. But you're going to see that I get fooled. Because here I go to the Charizard, Mega Evolve, and I go with Crunch expecting Slow King to come in because I figured he was scarfed. And so he, he just pulls off the Life Orb Sheer Force set. Uh, he would take Life Orb recoil, but his ability allows him to not take recoil damage. So that leaves with me guessing that he's scarfed. But that sucks. But we do take him out, so that's fine. I go into the Registeel on the Skunk Tank. Uh, he does have Fire Blast, but that does no damage. Like, it does a little bit of damage, but it's not really enough to really consider trying to take him out in a few turns for my opponent. So I get to, uh, you know, show off my Registeel set here, set up Skullfrost, paralyzing a Skunk Tank, and go with a couple of Iron Heads. We do get a couple of uh, paralysis from uh, the mechanics of the game, and it's like, thank you, because he would have killed me, and he would have a lot more HP than he would otherwise. So on that note, uh, he goes with Sucker Punch. That was an okay play there by WMR. He actually does die to his life form recoil. Um, I am going to lock myself in a Thunder Punch. But I knew he was uh, going to survive it. So I go back into Electrifier. Hopefully I don't get burned. And I don't get burned, which is fantastic. I'm going to go with a couple of Thunderbolts here. And I'm like, please don't burn me. And he doesn't burn me, which is fantastic. He's trying to get to a level of HP where he can survive a few hits. But basically, I knew he was, I knew he was going to do that. So I'm going to force him to attack me here. And he'll have less HP and I can revenge kill with my Samurai or my Primeape at this point. So that's going to work out. Great job, Electivire. You did pretty well. Uh, and now we can go into Samurai to revenge kill. Samurai is going to go the Mega Horn. I don't miss it. Man, I have such crappy move. Crappy luck with that move. I have to say it right. Um, and so yeah, he uh, I believe that this is a Scarf Tyranitar, unless I'm wrong about the speed tier for Tyranitar. He gets to win, or I get to win the match, uh, because he goes with Rock Slide, I don't get flinched, I go with a Waterfall, and it's going to clean out. If he had uh, flinched me, then he would have outsped me, I would just kill him back with Prime Ape. So that was a good battle. Um, I win 2-0 because of what you saw in the first portion of the match, took out Vileplum and Thunderous, and then the rest of the match here. So, the SF Swampers are 3-3, three, three, heading on to week 7, and I believe that's against... I'm actually not sure, I might have to double check on who I'm facing, but uh, week 7 will be out real soon. I'm going to try posting a regular Wi-Fi battle next week as well uh, because I haven't posted one in a while. So stay tuned for that. Uh, have a great day, Trainers. Hope you guys enjoyed the match. I'll see you guys all next time.